They say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, scratch that. In our universe, diamonds seem to be a planet's best friend. Scientists have discovered a new planet that is apparently made up of diamond. It's located 41 light years away. It is made of carbon. And it's very, very dense. So scientists believe that all that carbon has crystallized into diamond. And it's not the only one. Planets made of diamond may be more common than you imagine. Our next report explains. In a galaxy far, far away, astronomers have stumbled upon a cosmic jackpot, a diamond planet. It's known as 55 Cancri E. The planet is located 41 light years away. It's twice the size of Earth, nine times the mass of our planet. It's what scientists would call a super Earth. That means it's larger than Earth but smaller than planets like Uranus and Jupiter. But why is it dubbed the diamond planet? You see, planets are made of dust and gases. Usually, it's all about the ratio of those gases. Take Earth, for example. It has a lower carbon to oxygen ratio, which makes our diamond content pretty low, around 0.001%. But some others have a higher carbon to oxygen ratio, like this planet, 55 Cancri E. It's mostly made of carbon, which is new for planetary chemistry. Usually, diamonds are formed when carbon is crystallized. It is usually under intense heat and pressure. This planet has both. First, it's very, very dense. Second, it's boiling hot. So scientists believe all the carbon on this planet has been compressed to diamond. Of course, like all other planets, this one too has a star. It's called the Cancri A. But unlike the Earth, it's located much closer to its star. That's what makes it so hot. It has a surface temperature of almost 2,400 degrees Celsius. In fact, the radiation is so high, it has stripped the planet of its atmosphere. But to the surprise of NASA, this planet has grown a second atmosphere. Of course, a diamond planet sounds very exciting. But 55 Cancri E isn't the only one. It's raining diamonds in our galaxies. Scientists believe there could be thousands of such planets. Out of the 5,600 confirmed exoplanets, researchers think over 1,900 could have diamond rain. That's almost a third of all discovered exoplanets. And there's a reason for this. Earlier it was believed that forming diamonds needed particular conditions. But it seems easier than what was believed. Compressed carbon compounds can turn into diamonds at less extreme temperatures than estimated. That means diamond rain could be more common than previously imagined. Which brings us to the question, why can't we get some of those? Well, the answer is quite simple. These planets are light years away. One light year is almost 9.5 trillion kilometers. So, getting to these planets is almost impossible. And even if we did reach them, they won't be the most hospitable. Imagine record high temperatures and ice rain. So, while diamond rain sounds incredible, we will have to enjoy it from afar. While diamonds may be one of the most precious gemstones on Earth, and it is rare on our little planet, but our galaxies seem to have an abundance of it. Guess diamonds are a planet's best friend. First Post puts the spotlight on Africa. We report from across the continent. Rewriting the narrative. Stories of hope and progress. Amid coups. Conflicts. And climate crisis. The challenges are many, but so are the opportunities. Trying to do what benefits the majority of uh, citizens. 
tracking the world's second largest continent. Launching soon. First post Africa.